The purpose of this video is to use financial statements to describe the gearing of a business and the ratio we're going to use to describe the gearing is the debt to equity ratio. Not surprisingly this ratio is just comparing the degree to which debt, which is money which needs to be paid back by the business, and equity, which is money put in by the owners which does not need to be paid back, is balanced uh, to pay for the assets of the business. To understand how these things relate, you should watch the video about the accounting equation. The debt to equity ratio divides the total liabilities of the business by the owner's equity. Other videos on this channel go through this balance sheet in all the areas. For this equation, what we're looking at are the total liabilities, which is the current and the non-current liabilities, and the owner's equity, so just on this side of the balance sheet. Uh, we can see here that the level of total liabilities is the level of current liabilities plus the level of non-current liabilities, which is $12,000, and the owner's equity is $7,000. So if we put these numbers into this equation, we get $12,000 divided by $7,000. And that ratio will come out at about 1.7 to 1. Now what this means is that for every $1 of money that is put into the business by the owners, every dollar of equity, they have borrowed $1.70. There isn't really a benchmark for what is a good level of equity, uh, a good level of gearing, and it's not a problem for businesses to use debt. As long as that business is able to pay back those debts and is using that debt to generate income. But if we said that the ratio was 2 to 1, it means that for every dollar that the owners put in, they had to borrow $2. And so then the reliance on debt in this example is greater than the reliance on debt in this example. They've gone from borrowing $1.70 for every dollar put into the business to borrowing $2 for every dollar put into the business. Now this means that the, this business here has a higher level of gearing. They have high gearing. This one has relatively lower gearing. And again, there's not necessarily one that is better or worse, but we can definitely say that this second business has a higher reliance on debt, and that will lead to a greater risk that the business will become insolvent because there's a greater amount of money which needs to be repaid, and that could uh, add to the risk of that business. So the debt to equity ratio, the level of total liabilities divided by owner's equity, will show us how much the business borrows for every dollar that the owner puts in, and a higher number will uh, suggest that there's a higher reliance on debt as a way to finance the business's assets, and that increases the risk of solvency issues coming, coming up. We call those businesses more highly geared. They have a higher level of gearing. A lower level of gearing means a lower reliance on debt and less risk associated with becoming insolvent. 